Well, this is the moment that I know I've been looking forward to, and I'm sure all Ducks fans, it's the big three. Yes, Paul Correa, <laughs> Teemu Solani, and Guy Bear. And just to make it feel like old times, we've got something right here that Taylor's going to bring in. We're going to hold this up for the camera and hide your guys' heads, well, we of course. See. So you can't see, but uh, this is the dream team back in, I think it was 97 for the uh, Western nice. Conference oh. All-Star. Hey, nice. And, uh, San Jose. That's, San Jose, thank God yeah. I'm the only guy who still looks the same out of that picture, right? <laughs> <laughs> wow, we look young. Yeah, we do. Uh, Where'd the time go? Oh, here's that. Kibo, what's that on your head there? That, well, that's, that's, my, that's my old mullet, right? That's, that's what it used to be. Hey, look at the boot sticks. Uh, Look at the goalie pads. These guys couldn't play in that equipment that's now. Why, that's why they're so, yeah. Because look at the five hole. Look at the yeah. five hole you got right there. Yeah. No wonder why you guys hey, are in the hole. This, this was the time when the hockey was hockey. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hockey was yeah. hockey. Wow. All right. So, all right. We got that out of the way, which, of course, you know, I want to include myself. And I, I don't know how I'm not going into the Hall of Fame with you guys. Uh, but if you had to thank anybody in this room who's really responsible for helping you guys get there, you know, I'm all ears. Yes. I, you know, it's. Kibo, right? Kibo, number yeah. one. You'll be in both of our speeches. Fantastic. At the start. Well, the Kibo, you start, can, The hey. start, middle, and finish. Of hey, he gave us a confidence in every practice. Yes. Yeah. So, That's true. <laughs> so every, every shot we score. Sorry. Part, of my, part of my plan. That's right. Yeah. yeah that is true, actually. Yeah. That is true. Well, I guess we should uh, throw a little something for your centerman. Right. Yeah. Well, obviously, we were just talking about yeah. that, you know, like everybody else, everybody keep asking, like, how about, how about if you two would have a, a great centerman in, in, in the same time? You know, I said, you know what? The Roach was perfect for us. He was uh, uh, doing everything for us. And so uh, yeah. he was a workhorse. He did all, the, he did all the, the, the things that that we didn't want to do, like yeah, going check. into the corners, <laughs> play defense, four check. <laughs> Four check. We used to say four check, back check. Don't touch the puck. And Rusev would be like, "Okay, I can." Tell the story when he got so tired. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, he would do uh, so much work in the defensive zone for us, and then he'd be. He would literally have to go in first in the four check too. And after a couple of line rushes, he'd be so tired. He'd be on his knees skating to recover <laughs> through the neutral. <neutrality>. Like. <gasps> <gasps> I was I was telling the team upstairs. I was like, I I think I personally took five years off his career. <laughs> playing I, playing I with me, I, I I think took five years off Rooch's career. So we owe him that. We owe him something. Yeah. Like that. Plus, but when he when he came to our center, he was so nervous in the first time, or maybe like a couple of months that he didn't want to touch the puck. He said, Paul, yeah. <laughs> you and Timu go. Don't don't pass if you don't have to. <laughs> I'll be like, come on, Rooch, you got to be a big part of this. But little by little, he started being really, really good. And, uh, yeah. Well, believe me. What a great I, player. I, I underrated heard, player. I never heard it as his roommate yeah. for seven years. <laughs> never heard a word about that. <laughs> hey, tell us the story the, the 3 and 0 drill. Oh, the, this is So you would always, uh, we would always start, remember, we'd start practice with a 3 on 0 passing. So center, left winger, right winger. And, and you'd go up the ice and you'd pass the puck and then uh, turn around and pass it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Rooch would start with a puck and he'd pass to either Tamu and I. And we would saucer the puck over his stick. Back and forth down the ice, and Rooch would skate without getting the puck. <laughs> Turn around, go up the ice, and we'd do the same thing all the way back. And he'd go in, and the guys were just, you know, the guys were just howling, laughing. But we did that for what, like six years? He never touched the puck. Uh, what's the expression? You practice like you play? Yeah. Well, that's that. He did it well. He did. Yeah, he did, it, he did it well. So, uh, so Rooch, that's a big thank you. Yeah, yeah. Rooch, thank, thank you. Even when you watch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, let's talk about uh, you know the architect, Jack Ferreira. Uh, I, I try to give Jack props as much as I can. He was yeah. the reason I came out. He was the reason that he drafted you, and then yeah. I think basically stole stole you from Winnipeg. And yeah. you know the day that uh, he got that deal done, and we found out you were coming, um, I, we were more excited than you were. I think you know you were happy. It's never good to get traded, but. Yeah. I think it worked out okay for you. You know what? I, I remember that day. You know, obviously, I was. Everybody keep telling that the first trade is the hardest, and it was hard. Like you almost feel that you failed in your job. Uh, but same hand, you know, I knew right away I'm gonna have a new fresh start. Uh, I just met couple, uh, Paul a couple of weeks before that in the All Star game, and I knew it's gonna be a fun time. And uh, but I didn't know that it's it's gonna be that much fun. You know. 
Uh, and, and I mean, I watched some practice and in games about the chemistry you guys had, you know, automatically, right? And then, mm. you know, Rooch did all the hard work. But, you know, I know a lot of fans always want to know, like, you know, was it as easy as it looked for you guys to be that good together so quickly? Well, it, it wasn't easy, but it was it was natural. I mean, like, we we worked hard, as you know, in, in practice and, and figuring out what we wanted to do in certain situations or, you know, if, you were, if we're in a two-on-one, two on one, you know, on the back post, like how you got to drive in this situation, or if you're in your off when you got to sit back. So we were figuring things out, but I mean the chemistry was pretty instantaneous. I mean, it, uh, from from the first game on, I mean, it, uh, I felt like I knew what he was doing on the ice all the time, and he knew what I was doing on the ice, and what I wanted to do on the ice, and and um, you know, it was just a, a pleasure to play with. Yeah, I, I felt that the the game was so easy with him. Like you said, like we, we really try to get better every day. Doesn't matter if practice or game. We, after every shift in the game, we were we tried to give a little feedback mm -hmm. if I was open or he was open. A lot was of it, times. Was that when you were watching Jerry Springer in the training room? No, that was a little was later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it was. But obviously, uh, sometimes we are yelling to each other. Like you, like we really tried to uh, take this chemistry in another level. And I think we are one one step ahead of everybody else. And it was so easy, you know. And uh, but we were working hard, and every every practice we were challenging each other. All the time, some competitions. I always wanted to beat, beat him, and he tried to beat me. So, uh, but it was fun. Uh, best player I ever played with.